Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Philip, I'm also known as PS or PSNF. Today we are going to talk about lips. I'm going to talk about lips with a slightly bigger uh, webcam so you guys can actually see me. So I use this website called Deep Dream Generator to uh, do style transfer of one image to another. I've been doing this for a uh, quite a few time, um, maybe almost reaching two years now. And uh, I do it pretty much every day, a few different images. And at some point I started exploring uh, lips because I found an interesting photo of lips. And lips is something that naturally appeals to people, um, or well, naturally appeals to me at least. Um, I guess it's mostly because of the erotic charge that they have somewhat. And I decided to do a video to showcase some of the artwork that I've been doing. I call it DDG Art, short for Deep Dream Generator Made Art. Um, so yeah, this is the first um, the first uh, uh, DDG Art image that I did with the uh, lips. They were the original photo was already red, uh, uh, red uh, green. Uh, with some uh, gloss highlight over here. And then when I style transferred, I kept most of the color, so it looks pretty much like this. But it was uh, one of the first images that I did with lips, and I ended up finding it here, so I decided I should probably show it. Um, other images that I uh, did, this one is more about models. I do a few with portraits of people. I enjoy that somewhat um this one is probably copyrighted i don't care about copyright you can strike me down and i'll hide this image um i like the carnage stuff the raw thing of kissing the eye or eating the eye it's still a bit focused about the lips though for me it feels more well it's eating not so much lips so maybe not that much but well uh, well, st another image that I did back in 2018, I, did, I guess. I uh, found this image of this uh, Asian person, uh, Asian person uh, somewhere on Twitter. Um, and I did a few style transfers using her. Uh, her clothes were all black, her hair was black, her lips were also painted black. So I tried a few black styles on her. This one turned out all right. Um, I think the whole, her whole portrait is very focused around lips, though, and that's why I included her on uh, this one. I, f I did a few more with her. This is a darker version, like a Cthulhu-ish version of her. You can barely really see her very well. This is a lighter version. This one turned out pretty good. Uh, like I, I don't like pink overtones that much, usually, on images, but I like the contrast with the blackness, I guess. This one also turned out okay. It has some texture that I don't really like here and there. But yeah, you can really see that it's very focused around lips. That's why I, I included her. Uh, this one, it's lips kissing a foot. Um, I got this original image from public domain source, I think. Not sure anymore. I'm not sure anymore. And I tried this different style that had a lot of different uh, colors, psychedelic colors. Turned out pretty decent. I think I have other images of her. It's not that much about lips in the original sense, but it's there. Marilyn Monroe, she her image is a lot about uh, the lips. Um, did some transfer here. This was, I think, painting. I transferred with a painting, so it, it looks like some strokes of paint. Uh, this one was more of a CGA colors inspired digital drawing with a lot of swerving and things exploding, which really work well. Once you get into the palette of the whole thing, this style really works well on a lot of situations. And uh, it's, this one particularly worked well on Marilyn Monroe. Uh, here's another one with paint being used, also pretty decent. This one was using wood style, also pretty decent, also highlighting the lips a little bit more. This one clearly uh, highlighting the lips. Uh, so this image, I got it out of Twitter, probably. And it's a, of a model with a lot of makeup on. Um, not the kind of models I really like. I don't find it particularly painting. I don't, I'm not, a, I'm not very big on makeup by some reason. Uh, but this did highlight the lips a lot. 
and I do like clips for some reason, and I tried applying this um, anime uh, screenshot, or actually like manga drawing, but with colors, I don't know what I can call it, cartoonish kind of drawing. Don't go anywhere, cat. I know she will start meowing if she gets away out of my lap. So yeah, I decided to include her. She, uh, she has some nice looking lips. Uh, again, the Asian girl from before. This one really, the red really highlighted. Uh, this image, I have no clue where I got it from. Uh, some peacock feather uh, for the earrings. Um, not that much about lips. Don't know why I included her. This one, I also got it from Twitter, probably on the same session where I got the other one, Asian lady. Uh, probably the Archilect or Architect account on Twitter that just shows one image uh, at a time for each tweet that they do, and it's all popular images. Um, and I applied some Bro Brodoskaya, I think it's her name, uh, style to her. And Brodoskaya is an artist that does everything with paper folding, so this is all like papers. And then if you use that as a style, you can really see, like, most of it tries to do the paper folding thing, with these sharp corners around, but then it blurs a lot of different parts. So it's a bit of a mix. Not completely happy with this one. Uh, people don't usually have green face, but uh, it, it's okay. It's a much better version. Uh, can't really tell the lips are much here. Uh, same uh, picture from uh, a few pictures ago. This time with a more cartoonish kind of uh, style applied to her. This one is um, Arlie Quinn, an image of her. She is very focused around the lips as well. This this style application turned out pretty decent. I like this this result. Um, this one is random picture of looking something looking uh, like a retro seventies eighties kind of looks, and I I tried to apply a few effects on it, a few style transfers on them on her. It didn't particularly work very well. This one is a bit messy. I don't really like this overall, but I, I saved it in the end. Uh, I think you could use some cleanup, but uh, nice lips. That's what matters. Arlie Quinn again. This time trying with some line drawing uh, thing to so see the results that it did. It's okay. It's acceptable. Um, another image. This image I got from Pexels.com. They have a lot of nice domain, uh, public domain there, and stuff that it's free for use, not necessarily public domain. But uh, it's good that you can use the images from there, and it's usually high quality photography. So I uh, got this uh, lady with the leather jacket, and it's very focused around her lips because you don't see her eyes. So um, I really tried a few different stuff. Uh, this one is a comic drawing kind of style. It looks pretty good on her. This one is also very interesting. More like uh, new retro wave colors kind of thing. I don't like the outlines that much, but I think it worked okay. Uh, this image was probably from Twitter. Apply that style that you've seen before on another, another image. Turned out pretty good like the black and white contrast and the colors highlighting that. It has a Metallica t-shirt, in case you're wondering what's written here. Uh, here she is again, with that cartoonish style that I applied on a few other photos. And some more texture-filled style. I think this one is probably a style made by Silver Dolly. Uh, yeah, more of the same. This one is by a famous artist, which of course I don't remember the name right now. The style, I mean. Um, this one is just a waterish, golden kind of style. It gives like a cloudy look to it. Not really my favorite, but it's okay. Lips. Um, so I I found this very good image, source image, uh, which had this like very pinkish lips and with uh, like a light streak in the middle that you can see right here. And uh, it, it, it gave a very nice highlight to the thing. So this one I tried with a very heavily textured style. It turned out okay. I mean, it's not realistic, but it gives a certain feeling. It doesn't give, like, an erotic uh, vibe to it. But it's, it's, it's more like a texture. Uh, but I tried a few different versions. This one looks extremely lush. I really like this output. Um, 
you see you can really see the borders and stuff like that really cool i mean the colors don't look realistic but uh the the whole composition looks all right another one that looked pretty decent very smoothed out i don't like this part but other than that looks cool that style i already tried on a few other ones um get really annoyed it becomes a bit too abstract but it's still all right this one is one of my favorites. It's a cartoonish kind of drawing with a lot of different colors and it really applies the reds to the part of the lips. So it really stands out the lips, especially if you stand back. I think this would look very cool on print. Uh, talking about prints, if you, if anyone watching this would uh, like a print from uh, one of these, I'm, I'm, I can create a high-res version and uh, send it to you or you can check out uh, patreon.com slash ps enough and there's a tier there where i can send you like a postcard for uh for things on a monthly basis that's my rabbit i was wondering what he was doing uh, this one turned out pretty good as well it's a lot of detail a lot of twirls the original image or the original style is like the big wave from japan but with all these little twirls and everything in this blue and yellow palette and it translated that video well into this. I mean, you can still see the outline. Go away. Go away, rabbit. Sorry, I wanted to push him away before he bites on the power cables because he sometimes does that. A lot of texture. I really loved into that. A lot of swerving and colors, but it doesn't like it doesn't break the flow on the image. So I really liked how it turned out. Like you mostly see an abstract thing, but you can really tell the shape of the lips. Uh, in it, so I really like this result as well. Um, similar one, this was made with a more darkish tone, obviously. Uh, the, original, the original style was mostly black, green, and with some yellow to do like the contrast. Um, I call this Cthulhu inspired because it's like a darker overtone, uh, swampish kind of look, but it, you can still tell the, the lips there, so I really like this one as well. Another one. You can see that I was really obsessed with this image of the lips. It really gave very good results, so I tried a few different versions. Uh, this one also looks pretty good, like flame sort of thing going on there. Uh, this one was uh, trying with... Um, actually, the image that was shown a few images ago of that woman that look from the 80s, 70s. So that was the style of the original one. It had a lot of... Uh, cyan and purples and silver kind of colors and a lot of sharp contrasts that in, in the end result you can really see them around. Uh, one more. This was... Uh, the style I used here was a like an image of a lot of paint mixed together and swirling a lot. A lot of different colors. So it wasn't really like a painting forming an image overall. It was just like a combination of different colors just swerving each other, very abstract. But it really works very well once you apply it into stuff. It gives this interesting texture. Uh, like it, it seems like you, you carve there with crayons. So it, it looks pretty good. I really like this result as well. This one also turned out pretty good. I think this is actually from like a Spider-Man comic. It had like uh, the colors of Spider-Man and the blue background. Uh, the gray from the buildings and stuff like that. I think that was pretty much it. Turned out pretty good as well. I really love the the this lips original image. Really gives interesting results. This one also looked terrific. Like I th think I retained some of the original colors here. Looks really good. Really love this one. Uh, this one is also a comics, but just blue and uh, yellow. And the black, of course, uh, turned out pretty decent as well. I really love pretty much all the results that I got from this base image of these lips. I, I was really impressed on how it turned out. This one had like a smoke flow effect on the style transfer. And I retained the original colors, so it really looks pretty cool. Like if you stand back, it, you can really see the strike of light still hitting the lips. And it's not just like a strike of light. You can really see like the... Um, the rainbow or light diffraction uh, showing up there. Actually, I should probably show you the original image. Let's see if I have it here. Yeah, so this is the original image. You can see it. 
So you can see like a light refraction here. So yeah, next, where are we? Oh, sorry, wrong part. Already did this, this. Oh, this one. This one turned out pretty good as well. It's a very different kind of style, like more blurry and using uh, paintings, like paint-based strokes of brush. Um, but it looks pretty good. I mean, you can you can you can see the overall picture of the lips there. Uh, this one was with uh, some some um, what's it called? Like when people weave into something, it gives that little uh, texture of uh, the cotton lines that have been weaved into into the thing. So uh, it got a little bit of that, not completely, you, some parts are a little bit blurred, but it, it kind of gave it, gave it an interesting feel overall. This one was with Brodskaya, the paper folding thing. You can, you can see some depth in the lips there because of it. Uh, this one was with some just blue, what's it called, watercolors. Kind of thing. It gave some artifacts though, so I'm not really pleased. Like this part in particular looks really wrong, but the rest looks all right. Uh, but yeah, I like the minimalistic uh, feeling of it all. But I couldn't get a version of this without artifacts, so I left it as it was. This one is a different image. Um, this was a lot about the lips as well, so I decided to include it on this one. Uh, I only did a couple of versions of this one, but all of them turned out pretty good. I love this one. This one turned out pretty awesome. Uh, this one turned out all right as well. I had used this style a few times before with very good uh, results. Looks a bit watery here, like if it's underwater or something. Uh, this is another image taken from Pexels.com. I applied the cartoonish style, also very much about the lips. Another version of that with uh, an image which was, well, the style is like drawing from an architect which just does like pencil sketches and then watercolors on top of it. So it gives this very interesting style. And if you retain the original colors, you can do some very interesting things. Um, this one was from a digital a drawing that featured uh, a green underwater scenery with, uh, what's it called, a uh, seahorse and a lot of weaves, but very in a cute, cutish kind of uh, fashion. Maybe it turned out pretty good. I like how the red still stands out. It wasn't completely eliminated. Uh, this image is not totally about lips. It's more a portrait than anything else, but I like the results. This one was a watercolor being applied. Uh, this one was the the same architecture drawing and water watercolors that I was mentioning. This is actually the original colors from the watercolor, so they they worked out pretty well on this particular image. Um, this is a cartoonish uh, drawing with a lot of colors in it. Looks pretty cool as well. This is a higher resolution version of the previous of a previous attempt. More lips, different image uh, of lips. Uh, I will show you the original. The original was this one. So very lush and with a lot of uh, texture on them. Nice macro. So uh, we got this result. And where am I? So yeah, so this result, uh, this one was also applying um, to um, I was being a little bit more experimental. This one was actually an image from uh, Beeple. If you follow him on Twitter, you will see he sometimes does some stuff with some very contrasting colors. And uh, this was one of his images that used a lot of orange with a little green and a lot of uh, like beige background. So I applied it and it turned out pretty good. I mean, you can see the lips, uh, the rest looks like skin. So it turned out pretty nice. Uh, this one I was just exploring. This is a style by Silver Dali, which has a lot of texture, as is usual on her styles. But it has this little piece of green that makes makes it pop out in like a poisonous kind of way. So this seems like very dangerous, like about to corrupt you in in some some way. But uh, I like that it has like little bubbles that seems like it's uh, water or saliva or something like that. Very interesting. 
Um, this one's just a swirly kind of thing, retaining the original colors. Uh, it's it's okay. It's nothing special. I like the detail on the texture, but that's pretty much its highlight in my opinion. This one just experimenting with different uh, paintings style. They're not pretty okay. I don't like the overall yellowish of it, but I guess it's alright. This one also similar. This reminds me of Curry by some reason. I don't know why. It also seems to me very pornographic by some reason. Which is weird, like green and yellow are not very pornographic uh, colors. Uh, it's usually about the red. And actually uh, one thing I wanted to mention about the red of the lips and why we are so attracted to the red of the lips. I'm not a psychologist or sociologist or anything, but I saw this talk the other day that uh, people were attracted to the to the redness of lips of people because it reminds me of fruit being ripe. Uh, when fruit is ready to be eaten, uh, it's usually bright red, and that's why we find lips more seductive if they are more red. They feel like it's the fruit. <laughs> it's it's ripe for eating, so it's it's ready for to for it to be consumed. And that's why it's more luring for for. Uh, for humans to to they get more attracted to red lips. Um, photo also taken from Pixels, most probably. This one turned out pretty good. Uh, just a watercolor painting. This one is the best of the series with this girl. I also did this one, and not so much too much makeup shown there. This one is alright, a bit more lower tone colors. So yeah, that's all I have from lips to show you guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As I mentioned before, if you uh, want a print of any of these images, uh, let me know and uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, work it out uh, in terms of either I give you the image and you can just print it on your own or I can just print it here and send it to you and uh, charge you for the print costs and shipping costs somehow. Um, Otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that jazz. See you next time. Bye-bye. Take care.